Alrighty, so it is a Sunday evening in Paris and I'm starting this week in the life on a Sunday evening with good reason. Sunday evening is a key part of my like weekly routine where I will basically review all the tasks from Friday and the end of last week that I didn't get done and try to plan them for early in this week. So on a Sunday evening, I like to review the tasks for my corporate lawyer job and also in my business and YouTube channel that I want to prioritize because there are infinitely many things I would like to be doing in both of those but realistically my time is like very limited so I have to prioritize. So this evening I'm doing that in the little park near where I live because I absolutely love between like 6.30 and 8 in Paris this golden hour still warm outside I can sit on my LG gram and just get everything ready for the week. And yeah LG with the LG Gram 2022 version are very kindly sponsoring this video. The LG Gram 16 inch laptop is my personal laptop and I use it for literally everything. It is honestly my new love. The 16 inch screen is incredible. It's super light, like lighter than any laptop I've ever owned. And best of all, like I have tons of tabs open, tons of apps open, video editing, photo editing, and it just seems to cope with everything effortlessly. So yeah, you're gonna see me using that a lot more this week. But for now, I feel good just having got my head in the right place, having gone through some of the tasks I'm gonna to need to do tomorrow, and just got myself a bit more ready for the week. So yeah, roll on Monday. So it is the start of another week in my life as a trainee corporate lawyer working in Paris doing antitrust. This is my final six month rotation in a two year training contract at a corporate law firm. So I want to first of all, just talk about like working patterns and the new normal post COVID. So I am currently while in Paris, probably going into the office more regularly than I was in London. In London, it was probably pretty much three times a week, every week here. It's probably closer to three or four times. I'll often work from home on a Monday and then occasionally on a Friday. Now, antitrust. And I just want to really quickly explain like what is antitrust. So antitrust is just like another word for competition law. And this is basically the law that is there to protect consumers and smaller businesses from potentially other businesses or the particularly large businesses acting anti-competitively. The stuff that I've worked on, I'll just give you two examples which will come out throughout the rest of the week. The first is where you either have a group of companies that have agreed to fix prices is a classic example, but often it'll be some kind of agreement between those entities, not necessarily always explicit, to act in some way that an authority deems to potentially be anti-competitive. Or you could have a generally very large company in a particular sector, again, acting anti-competitively. It does what's called abuse its dominance. So that's sort of one category is where a competition authority is investigating a company or a group of companies for supposedly doing something anti-competitive. I am working on one case that's within that broad area. And then the second area is merger control. So I have previously worked in mergers and acquisitions in my second seat, if you watched my other days in the life. And basically when a company is buying another company, Company, if they operate in the same sector, you're going to get a reduction in competition because there are just less companies providing that service and therefore competition authorities want to review that transaction and make sure it's not going to cause any competition issues for consumers. And so it's our job as a lawyer to try to convince the competition authorities that there is indeed no competition concern. If anything, it will be beneficial for competition because you'll have a stronger entity once the merger or the acquisition has taken place and therefore they should approve the transaction. And I'm working on two matters in that area. So right now I'm going to be working my first task and first category of tasks for the day is what I'll call summarizing. And this is because competition law issues are often pretty complex and clients need a quick and easy to digest format in which to understand what the issues are. There's tons of technical analysis that goes into what the lawyers more senior than me are drafting. And so one of my jobs is to take a slide deck that one of our other teams in the EU has made and amend that for the filings that I've been working on to basically explain to the client where the competition authorities we expect might have more questions, might see areas of possible concern, and just to explain what we have been arguing in all of the filings we've been submitting. So I'm basically going through all of the filings that we've been making across different markets and trying to synthesize the key areas, the key arguments that we've made in a slide deck. After a couple of hours of working on that, it's time to go and make a coffee. 
And with that, I'm going to have a crepe. Now, do I buy packets of crepes in the UK where they are sold in supermarkets? No, but I am in France, so I feel obliged to eat French snacks. Okay, so I have just at 11.35 had an email from someone in our Paris antitrust team asking me to do some pretty urgent work today. So I'm having to scrap the other stuff that I was planning on doing right now because this is more urgent, needs to be done today. And this is the second batch of tasks that a trainee has to do. And this is common across different departments as a trainee lawyer document review. And in the context of competition law, basically there's an obligation on parties. So we've got one company buying another company or merging, and those companies have to share internal documents, any documents they have that talk about competition or that talk about the acquisition in question. And what we're looking for when we're reviewing those is, first of all, what is bad in them? What is the competition authority potentially going to be like? Ah, huh, well, you said you were a market leader in this thing, and now you're claiming that your market share is very small in your filing. That doesn't make sense. And then the second thing we're looking for is privilege, and that's what I'm looking at now. So I'm going to look through a batch of documents. There are slightly different rules for the UK and the EU, so I have to bear that in mind basically for legal advice related, which we do not have an obligation to share with the competition authorities, and therefore we'll be able to redact, cover over those bits of the document. So that is the task, probably take me through to at least lunchtime, possibly after. It's 1.45, I've just finished for lunch. I'm gonna come back to the bit of work I was doing after. But yeah, things are going pretty well. I was in a flow, so postponed lunch after. I usually have it around one. Postponed it to 1.45. Gonna grab some quiche from my little local boulangerie and then I will be heading back to work after around 20 minutes sat in the sun. Often have like an hour lunch outside in the sun with some friends while I'm at work. But today, as I'm on my own, just gonna sit outside, enjoy some sunshine and get back to it. Okay, so that took quite a bit longer than I was hoping for. I've just pretty much finished that document review. I'm gonna fire it off in an email to the associate who asked me to work on it and let them review it before I do anything else. Now I'm gonna begin my final, hopefully final task of the day and that is drafting. Drafting in a competition law context generally will be drafting the filing that is going to be sent to a competition authority. So that could be either, number one, where you are initially filing, so that is in the EU, there's a form called the Form CO and you basically have to fill that out but in lots of detail, and in the UK the same thing, it's called the Merger Notice. Basically, they are a series of questions that help the authority understand the market, understand who the key players are, understand how competition works in that market, what the market shares are of the parties to a transaction and across the market as a whole, and basically to decide whether there's going to be a problem or not. Type number two is where you have received questions from a competition authority in what's called an RFI, a request for information. So that is what I'm about to work on right now. We've basically received an RFI from a competition authority in relation to a merger. And I am going to be drafting a few of the questions that I have been working on personally based on input we've now just received from the parties during the course of today and also from some of the other Clifford Chance offices, particularly the office in Tokyo, which is pretty awesome getting to work with different offices around the network. It is now 7.50. <laughs> 6 p.m. and I have just sent off all of the drafting that I've been working on this evening, the associate. She's gonna have a look at that later this evening, so I will be able to work on that from tomorrow. So no more to do this evening, which is amazing. And I am now, this is pretty exceptional, I would never normally have a call at this time, but there's an associate who wants me to help out with a little bit of work tomorrow. So I am going to call her right now in order to just speak through, chat through quickly the matter and the bit of help that she needs on it so that I'm able to help tomorrow morning. Once that call is over, that's my evening wrapped up. 
So it's a very happy Tuesday evening in Paris because I have finished work remarkably early. It's like 6.15 p.m. and I have left the office and I'm on my way home. So that is awesome. Today was one of the less sexy days. So as a trainee, I'd say you have some good days, you have some slightly less sexy days where you're given the more boring end of the task to do. And today it was basically just checking through proofreading, getting the filing that we're gonna be submitting tomorrow. I think there's gonna be a mad rush tomorrow, ready for submission but that is all making good progress it's with the associates review now so possible i'll get more to do later but for now i am done excited to go home gonna think about all the stuff i need to do this evening in my business menos and also for my youtube channel and then i will once i've thought about that bop along some music get myself pumped for an afternoon smashing some business stuff let's do this so this evening I'm working mainly on Menos, but also gonna do a few bits for my YouTube channel. First of all, we have just started running ads for Menos, so I'm checking in on how those are performing, looking to tweak our campaigns, and also trying to edit some of the photos that we've taken, me and Beth, over the last year, so that we have those as creative to put out as ads and see how they perform, testing as we go along. And when I'm working, I really love having all these different tabs and windows open at the same time. So I'm able to cross refer across different things. And the 16 inch screen is just incredible for that. The LG Gram's screen quality is amazing. And with the LG Gram Plus View monitor, you basically get double the screen space with them perfectly matching one another. I also love that I can unlock the LG Gram with my face and it also has this super cool software called Glance by Mirametrics, which basically allows you to move windows just using your eyes, using clever AI technology and it also senses when someone is looking over your shoulder at your screen and warns you. But I think the thing that I love most about this beast is just how much power it has. I'm really used to laptops overheating, the fan blaring, them crashing because I've got too much open. This copes effortlessly with all of my many, many tabs, applications, energy and process intensive tasks that I'm putting it through effortlessly. I know that I'm potentially gonna have a busy day at work tomorrow, so I start working on my own stuff at around 9.30, make myself some dinner, and then just chill out. Before a reasonably early night, which for me is honestly midnight, which isn't early for most people, but that's kind of early for me. So it is currently about 11, 10 on a Wednesday evening. I've had a bit of a late one at the office, so I'm just walking home now. I think it's important, right, to say that <laughs> in this job, there are times where I finish very late and it can be much later than this. Basically, we had a filing that we had to submit to a competition authority. We had a load of questions we were drafting answers to. We were back and forth with the client this evening and we submitted it ahead of the midnight deadline. But yeah, that's meant it's pretty late, right? Sometimes I'll have like a whole week where it's a week of pretty late nights. Sometimes that could go on for a couple of weeks that happens in this job. Today, I'm pretty confident that tomorrow should be much more chilled. I should finish at a pretty decent time. This has happened for the first time in quite a while for me because in Paris, I haven't been as insanely busy as I have previously in London. Yeah, I've been very lucky on that front really. So yeah, I'm gonna go and chill out and get some sleep. Also, just in case like it wasn't clear, I had dinner at the office. Generally, always get dinner if I stay after 8 or 9 p.m. And tonight it was a delicious pad thai from my favorite place on Deliver at the moment. So yeah, that was yum. One bonus to staying at the office so late. Now, sleep. So good morning, merry Thursday morning. And yeah, I, I was working really late last night, so you may have noticed that this morning my routine was not quite as slick as my previous morning routine from my video. I basically, when I'm really busy, just have to try and prioritize getting at least six or seven hours sleep if I can, because I find if I get less than that, it massively impacts my performance, like just generally mentally. And then I also try to prioritize my health. So didn't get to do exercise this morning, but I am gonna walk into work, which is a good way of just getting a little bit of exercise. Obviously eating fruit, like having my athletic greens, just trying to keep my nutrients up. But pastries are pretty great. And you know, when in Paris, You've got to treat yourself some, but 
What I've got to say is, actually here, there is a really lovely culture of like, I'll go now and go and buy a load of pastries and take them into the office. And everyone will then just like eat pastries throughout the day, come in our office, chat to us and get to know us and like build a real team bond that way. And I've really loved that. That's been like a huge lesson for me here. You know, the ability to go out for lunch with your team, like have time to spend with your teammates, go for drinks, like do that more social stuff as a team and really make the effort to do it. It's something that I think I've kind of generally not been that great at, particularly in London. So yeah, definitely something to take back to London to work on. So yeah, that's my big takeaway for the day now. I'm gonna go and get some pastries and I will see you probably at the end of this fine old day in Paris. Alrighty, so it is now around 8.30. I've just finished work for the evening, which went pretty well, had a pretty busy afternoon. We had a load of questions come in from the competition authority that we had to start answering and, and looking through. So yeah, but that was all good. And I am gonna go on a run as soon as I get home. A bit late, but really keen to do some exercise this evening and do not have work tomorrow. So that is pretty awesome. So yeah, hopefully after my run, I'll be able to just chill out for the rest of the evening, have a nice dinner and get a good night's sleep ahead of a self-care day tomorrow. So, good morning, merry Friday morning. Uh, I am just at a cafe, doing my thing in Paris, out and about. I decided rather than just working on my YouTube and business stuff at home, I would come out to a lovely cafe, sit in the sunshine, my amazing LG Gram. The screen is so good that it can cope with even very bright sunshine. I can still see it perfectly, which is amazing. Here, yeah, gonna get on with some invoicing of sponsors. I've got some accounts to do for Menos. So just like general business admin. And then I'm also gonna do some editing of some photos and some video for Menos. So that is my plan for the morning. And then very excitingly, I have Beth coming to visit later today and, and her whole family as well, which is awesome. So yeah, gonna try and get through as much as I can this morning. I should say like it's currently 9.30 a.m. on my day off. And I was very much planning on having like a lion this morning, but I think the problem with running your own business and having all this stuff going on in my head is that I was super buzzy. I was really excited to get on with the stuff I know I need to get done before Beth gets here and I have a whole weekend off. So yeah, one downside of having your own thing is like the ability to relax significantly reduced. But yeah, I'm enjoying my coffee, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying doing some work on my LG and life is good. Once I finish working, I head to one of my favorite places for clean but delicious food in Paris, DS Cafe, which it is kind of that girl vibes, I'm not gonna lie, but suits me well and lunch alone is the perfect time to read a little. I used to get really freaked out by people who ate alone. Now I am one of them, but I like generally just people watching and enjoying my food. Plus carrot, ginger and apple smoothie recommended by the waitress, which was surprisingly delicious. I then head to the patisserie next door just to counterbalance the healthy lunch that I've just had and pick up a coffee and a cake. and head to the park. I have a pretty long call with my editors, Eric and Aja, who are in Bali, and we chat through how things are going, what we're looking to do with reels coming up, and have a generally great catch-up chat because we haven't spoken in ages. Also, just to say that I have been absolutely hammering this laptop today. I obviously spent all morning like sorting my accounts, editing photos, videos. I then just had a two and a half hour call with Eric and H, my editors, and I still have like 40% battery, have not plugged it in once. It is a beast.
I then head back to mine, change into some shorts because it's actually got pretty hot outside in time for another quick call for today with Tom, the rep from our We Are Menos warehouse. It's basically just a catch up call to make sure everything is running okay. We chase down any issues with orders. So yeah, pretty productive call. And that is work done for today. So yeah, it's now time to head out and really excitingly go and meet up with Beth and her family. So I think I've arrived in the building where Beth is staying. I've got to get this ancient lift up to the top floor, which is pretty exciting, to the apartment where Beth and me and her family are staying for tonight. Nous sommes arrivés. Je crois. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. 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 Artiste in the making. That is impressive, though. Oh, hey. Love it. So that has been a week in my life. I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you did, you should absolutely also check out LG's Instagram page. It's at LG underscore tech dot IT. They have tons of tech lifestyle content. So yeah, do go check that out. And LG also has a Facebook community page called Hustle Hub by LG Gram UK, which I will link to in the description. And it's for entrepreneurs, business enthusiasts and productivity lovers. So go check that out too. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely do appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Please do drop me a comment to let me know what you thought. As I promise, I literally always read every single comment, even if I don't get time to reply. And I will see you again in another video very soon.